So yesterday, Steve Geppi from Diamond Distributors, which if you don't know, that's the company that actually distributes all of the comics, IDW, Marvel, DC, Image, they distribute all of the comic books to the comic shops, has stated that the comics that they have currently in their warehouses, they will distribute those in as much as they possibly can. However, for the foreseeable future, they will not be taking on any new comic books or collectibles or toys or games or anything like that. Yeah, I know that it's only 11.20 uh, in the morning, but I need a beer for this one. What that means is that there will be no further new issues showing up at their stores. And really, let's face it, a lot of comic shops are either already on the brink of closing, and this is what's gonna push them over the edge, or B, they're closed anyway, even if it's just for temporary measures to handle the novel COVID-19 virus. It's a big deal. This is gonna be very bad for the comic book industry as a whole, and then also for all of the shops that distribute our hard copies of the comics. For those of us who really don't want to collect digital copies of the comics, there's something just not as cool about that. Imagine collecting baseball cards, but they're just digital baseball cards. It's just not the same. There's something about holding the comic book in your hand, having that piece of art that you can then add to your comic box. It's a one-of-a-kind experience, I think. Let me just read some of the message from Steve Geppi, the chairman and CEO, Geppi Family Enterprises, founder of Diamond Comic Distributors. And as a side note, it does kind of stink that there's only one distributor for everything. And this started in the 90s. I feel like that was a bad thing. And it would be kind of nice if after this, it wasn't just one distributor that handled the comic books and the collectibles and pretty much everything else that I love. Uh, That's the beer. Uh, That's the beer too. Coronavirus effect on distribution. As everyone knows, the world faces ever increasing challenges related to the COVID-19 pandemic. Its effects on the comics and collectibles and tabletop gaming industries have been felt far and wide. We are hearing from thousands of retailers that they can no longer service their customers as they have in the past. Many of them forced to close by government action or resort to in-person or curbside delivery. Even those still open are seeing reduced foot traffic in most cases, a situation that seems likely to worsen with time. Our publishing partners are also faced with numerous issues in their supply chain, working with creators, printers, and increasing uncertainty when it comes to the production and delivery of products for us to distribute. Our freight networks are feeling the strain and are already experiencing delays, while our distribution centers in New York, California, and Pennsylvania were all closed last week. Our home office in Maryland instituted a work from home policy and experts say that we can expect further closures. Therefore, my only logical conclusion is to cease the distribution of new weekly product until there is greater clarity on the progress made towards stemming the spread of this disease. Products distributed by Diamond and slated for an on sale date of April 1st or later will not be shipped to retailers until further notice. That means no more toys, collectibles, comics, graphic novels, statues, all kinds of stuff that you and I love won't be distributed. Now, of course this makes sense. In a, in a perfect world, we would just pause, put everything on pause and then the comics that were supposed to come out as of April 1st will then just jump back into it and come out when this whole thing is finished. But the reality is far more jarring and dark than that. Yes, there will be some comic shops that survive this mess. There will be some companies that survive this. But the sad fact, the sad reality is so many comic shops were paycheck to paycheck. And that means so many companies who don't have the liquid assets or they don't have the money in the bank say for a six month period of no profits and making no money are not going to be able to continue. And we're going to see the mass closures of not only comic book stores, but all kinds of stores all across the board. In fact, some are already closing because of this. 
Now at this point, I know that there's a lot of you at home saying, well, why don't you just bite the bullet and go to the digital medium? Just read your comics digitally. I mean, we're gonna save on paper. We're not gonna destroy the environment. The artists can keep creating their comics, but then the companies don't have to pay for the overhead of printing and then shipping these comic books. Why not do that? Well, I would answer to you, as I've already stated, it's important to me to have that hard copy. That is a part of the appeal of collecting comics. And once you take away the appeal of having a hard copy, what you've done is effectively make a whole group of people like myself much more disinterested. Yes, I'm going to be interested in the story still, but honestly, when I read a comic book on my computer screen or on my phone or on a tablet, it's just not the same experience. And I guarantee if we lose our paper printed comic industry, the comic industry itself will end up having to tighten its belt in general because people are not all going to go from paper to digital. They'll go from paper to nothing. Either way, as someone who's been a lifelong DC fan, a lifelong comic book reader, literally since I was four, the first things that I ever read were comic books. I had Red Tornado issue number one. I had Batman and the Outsiders issue number one. I had a slew of old school Superman and action comics. This is such a scary and sad time for me. If the comic industry because of this goes through drastic changes and partially implodes or goes out of business, that's gonna be huge for me. I'm gonna feel like someone is ripping my heart out. And I'm sure a lot of you are gonna feel the same. I don't know what to tell you though, because in a time like this, if it wasn't for the virus, I'd say now's the time to go out and support your local comic book retailers. But we can't go out and support our local comic book retailers because we're trying to not spread this virus. We're trying to prevent our hospital rooms, our emergencies, our intensive care units from being completely overwhelmed with an entire year's worth of patients in a matter of weeks. Italy is one of the forefront, one of the forerunners in intensive care and in oxygen, that whole technology. They're one of the forerunners. Their hospitals make ours look like little playrooms and they're swamped, they're overwhelmed. And we didn't act quick enough and we didn't act strong enough. It's a good thing that comic book shops are closing down. Their health is way more important than comic books. But it's also kind of scary and kind of sad that something that we all love so much may change forever or even largely disappear. Anyway, I just wanted to touch base about this whole topic. It was a big enough topic. I know it's not completely DC related, but it's a large enough topic about something that is near and dear to my heart that I wanted to make a video about it. I'm not a doomsayer like some people. I still do have hope for the comic book industry. There are people out there that are just making YouTube videos that are just all doom and gloom and the comic industry is doomed. And I really don't think so but I definitely think it's going to undergo some very large, long-lasting, permanent changes because of COVID-19. Let me know what you think at home about the comic book industry right now, how it's gonna fare, if it's, is it gonna get through this? Is your comic book store still open where you are? And furthermore, even if it is open, are you doing what you can to curb the spread of this virus and doing the right thing and staying home and not going out unless you absolutely need to? Just stay home. But yeah, that's all I got for you today. Hopefully you're staying safe wherever you are. And I will see you next time with the next video. Have a DC day, everybody, and take care.